Steve Hart here, standing on the Vance and SI Live, talking to Tim McAuliffe Jr. Tim uh, just won the New Year's Singles Classic. How do you feel? Uh, pretty good. Uh, this is a great win for me. Um, it's one of the three or four major tournaments on the island, and uh, it's nice to add to the resume. Um, how did you feel coming into today? Do you think you had a shot? You had a first round bye, obviously. Oh, yeah, it's, it's great to get that first round bye. Uh, you can see how the lanes are playing, get a little extra practice. But I felt really good. Uh, I matched up really well to the lane condition. I felt like I could overpower them uh, from inside. And uh, I knew if I uh, you know, got past that first one, I was going to be tough to beat. How were the lanes uh, behaving for you today? Uh, they, you know, they hooked overall. Uh, each pair of lanes I went to was a little bit of a guessing game. They seemed to get tighter, believe it or not, um, each new game. And uh, that was a tough adjustment for me in the beginning. But after one shot or two, I was able to get lined up and uh, I threw a bunch of strikes. <laughs> now, obviously, um, you know, you always have kind of a, a legacy to live up to you with your, with your dad's name. Uh, um, what, what's that been like? You know, as, uh, as I said, you've been at this for a while. You're how old now? I'm 34. So 34 now, and you've been at this, uh, you know, since I remember you in high school days, pretty much. Um, how has that been like? Well, it's um, you know, from an early age, my parents always wanted me to kind of set a good example. Uh, you know, just for the family name and for Victory Lanes, and uh, uh, I've always tried to do my best to, to do that. I always, uh, I'm a gracious winner and loser, and uh, I just let my, my, my bowling do the talking, really. And uh, I, uh, I just try to follow the footsteps of people like, you know, Red Wilkinson and uh, Benny McNevich. Um, also, uh, you mentioned to me before, obviously, your wife Francesca, she had a uh, guided the Wagner uh, boys soccer team to an undefeated season this year. So I guess you said you felt you needed to kind of uh, at least match her today? Yeah, she's still a lot of press this year from the call of bowlers, but uh, uh, that was impressive uh, for Francesca. She, uh, only her fourth year, it was the first, it was, she wins her first island championship already, an undefeated season, just tremendous. I'm so proud of her. And uh, I got a little ink back, I guess, for, uh, for this outing. Uh, and uh, I guess just talk about the final match here against Steve Sauce. Uh, Steve had been bowling really well all day. Uh, he had gotten a bye too. He was uh, throwing well into like the 230s pretty much in every game. Um, I guess you knew it was going to be a tough match. I mean, he ended up bowling a, a 224 in the final, which is, you know, not, nothing shabby, you know, uh, but you were able to come out on top. Yeah, absolutely. My dad knew as he saw Steve throw a shot that it was going to take 240 or better to win this match, and uh, he was right. Uh, my match didn't get any easier as I went, uh, you know, through the bracket, but uh, I knew, you know, seeing Steve, you know, bowl, uh, it was going to take everything I had to beat him, and uh, I was up to the task today. All right, Tim, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Steve. All right.